addiction. Usually we hear it associated with drugs, alcohol, or maybe potato chips. Getting addicted to something can be a very bad thing, especially when it's unhealthy or makes you bubble up in your own little world. Video games can be that addiction too. I'm here today to talk about video game addiction from the inside looking out. I have lived through the reality of video game fixation. This small essay is about a guy who went through it and came out the other end and who has had the course of his life changed because of it. I know a lot of people out there in this big world play games for fun, but many of us play games because we have to. That's what addiction is, when you can't control yourself not to do it. I became exposed to Diablo 2 and World of Warcraft really early on in my life, right when I should have been making my way out into the world. I was 18, a straight A student and on track to becoming valedictorian, but I never got that title because I became addicted to a video game. Fast forward 10 years or so and I still play one of those games more than any other game, and that would be League of Legends. I've probably clocked about 5,000 hours into this game over the past 8 years. That's just too many hours. Between this game and World of Warcraft, I may have just as well seen more of the world through a computer screen at this point than out of my own eyes. And I say that's ashamed, to be honest. Has it ruined my life? Well, maybe a better question, what would it have become without it? Today I want to talk about video game addiction and tell my story, and then, and only then, I want to answer the question, can it ruin your life? My first video game addiction came in the form of World of Warcraft. I began playing WoW when it launched in 2004, which would make me like 17 or 18 at the time. It was right when I was supposed to go to college and become an adult. It consumed me. I would sit in my room all day, every day, and this continued for years. I, I shrugged off the idea of ever going to college because I felt like I wouldn't have enough time to play my, you know, work warrior and I fell into a really dark place. World of Warcraft ruined my motivation to leave home, finish college, and it ruined the relationship I had with a really lovely girl actually that I had been dating for four years prior to starting the game. Eventually, I was thrown out of my home by my mother, who could no longer support a guy who had no intention of living in the real world. Coming out of my room only to grab food, I was pasty, skinny, unhealthy, a sulking mess of a human being. I had no friends, no future, and no money. I spent it all on my monthly subscription to World of Warcraft. Getting thrown out of my home, standing on the curb in the rain, with my bags sitting on the lawn, was one of the biggest wake-up calls I probably ever had, and to this day ever have had. I was scared, I was lonely, and I just had no place to go. I had $400 to my name, and my gas tank was empty, so I went to the only place I really could. I drove across town to a local casino where I had played 1 2 No Limit to pick up some cash to pay on the reg for my WoW subscription. For the next two weeks, I gambled my way enough to afford a $67 hotel room each night. In the days that I lost, I slept in my car in the freezing cold winter outside in the parking lot. As I stared into the cold night, shivering, I reflected at how I came to be at this very moment hungry, broke, and sad and very, very cold. It was video game addiction that I let carry me to this very dark and lonely place. Several years later, my second video game addiction episode would kick in. It came on at the worst possible time. After recovering from my prior homeless state and my WoW addiction, I went on to college, I got a job, and I stopped playing video games altogether. I was renting an apartment, I had a new girlfriend, and I was approaching graduating with a degree in economics. And that's when one of my friends introduced me to League of Legends, and god damn, I wish he had not done that that night. If I had to put a word to the letters LOL, it wouldn't be Laugh Out Loud or League of Legends, it would be Longest Obsession of My Life. League of Legends was a game I played every day, 5-10 to 10 hours a day, and I began failing at life while doing it. I began skipping classes, I refused to leave the house, and I refused to go places with my girlfriend. Most of my friends in college stopped hearing from me at this point, and I stopped going out to school events and things that were once very important to me, and I even considered dropping out of college so I can play competitively. It became a habit, and I'd always find myself logging in every day without really realizing it. 
I played competitively during college and when that was coming to a close, I realized I'd have to stop playing and start living the real life. It was the World of Warcraft situation all over again where I refused to continue to live life. So I put it on hold in the only way I could. I ended up stumbling into my undergraduate's graduation alone and with no one there to celebrate with. I had stopped talking to people altogether and they had stopped talking to me. With a moment of sheer panic, I soon realized that I was going to have to go out into the real world and get a 9 to 5 job and that my league obsession was basically over. I was so addicted to the game that I made one of the most hasty decisions I have ever made. I ended up enrolling in graduate school immediately after graduation so that I can continue playing as a student and enjoying the benefits of financial aid, essentially so that I could continue playing league for 8 hours a day. Thus, I found myself in graduate school doing homework or reading articles online while I was queuing up for ranked matches of League of Legends, and then I'd pause the game, play it, and come back to my other duties thereafter. So I was kind of an MBA student by day and a professional League of Legends gamer by night. The weirdest part of my life has always been that I have hidden this addiction from everybody, even those closest to me. In a demanding graduate program, I had to basically throw on the slacks and the tie and carry that I am a people person mentality around. I convinced everyone, I even convinced myself at one point that I was normal, functional, uh, and outgoing. I was not. I was a gamer in disguise like Clark Kent or something. But I wasn't transforming into a superhero or something greater, I was devolving back into the lonely persona of a video game addict. I got a few jobs by faking this kind of businessman persona and charming the recruitment teams of many a corporation. It's as if I had an alternate reality, kind of an uh, alternate personality. One minute I was an extroverted suit and tie professional, and then the next I was an introverted hermit crab addicted video gamer. But whatever personality I had on, I always managed to be likable and slip by undetected. I excelled in demanding business analyst roles and I was always loved by the companies I work for. Except one which leads me to the end of my story. After graduate school, my life could no longer be put on hold for video games. I had to be an adult and put that invisible cape away and that childlike person I was trying to hide. I took a job working at a very competitive firm where I was placed in a team. Unfortunately, my addiction to League of Legends had grown out of control by then, and I was unable to hide it from anybody any longer. I started sulking at work, and the cravings were eating at me inside like some unquenchable demon sitting in my stomach. I was late to work all the time because I was gaming in the morning, and I was always leaving early so I could game at night. My work sucked, and my boss was always getting on me to be better. I wasn't getting along with my team and they didn't like me. And you know what? I didn't like me either. I took a hard look at myself in the mirror that night. One of those times where you just stand there and watch yourself cry. I stared longingly at this hollow figure in front of me and I had kind of a moment of clarity where I realized I can't stop running from myself. I ended up quitting my job the very next day. A few years later I have woken up, or so they say. I'm no longer addicted to any video game, but there is still one unanswered question that I can't seem to get out of my head. What would life be like without this video game addiction that I went through? I could have gone on to have a family, gotten married, bought a house by now, and heading to the top of some high-rise corporation. Would that have made me happier? Had more friends, a more meaningful relationship that lasted more than just a year, or a more fulfilling life? And you know what? The answer to that question, or all those questions, is yeah, actually. Video game addiction can ruin your life if you let it get out of control like I have. The truth is, I am lucky to be in a position where I get paid to talk about video games. I find it fun and creative and liberating. But behind the scenes, I'm still that guy that doesn't want to be Clark Kent anymore. I want to have a happier life with more people in it. Because I threw away that opportunity and shelled up from the world and I just don't have that many people in my life that I can talk to or confide in. So this channel is one of the only things I have left. I use it as an outlet to make a connection to you, even though I don't actually know you. It makes me feel better to know that I have someone out there willing to listen to me. The point of this video was to portray that video game addiction can be life altering and dangerous, and it's important to get your addiction under control before it's just too late. Accept who you are, but put some limitations on yourself.
Wow, okay, that was a very personal video. Um, I didn't expect it to go like that, but um, I really wanted to address addiction with a personal story so you can see that it does have real world implications. It may not be you, but it might be someone you know or someone on the internet who is going through the same thing that I went through. Um, I just hope that this video was maybe a wake up call for just one person, just one person watching this uh, gets gets out of their situation and, and, and has a better life because of, of my little story. So that was the point of this video to kind of transmit my experiences to help someone else. Okay then, thank you very much for watching guys. If you want to thumbs this video up, go for it. If you want to thumbs it down, then uh, I can't stop you. So uh, have a great day and we'll see you in our next video.